Hey guys, and welcome back to That LP Show. The name of the game is Metroid, Other M for the Wii. Well, we defeated MB and saved the galaxy. We stopped her from going, taking the bottle ship on a collision course with the Galactic Federation. So everything is kosher. But now they're about to destroy this place, and we need to go find, well, Samus is looking for something. Something that she left behind, something that is apparently irreplaceable. So we need to find out exactly what that is before they blow this up as per the schedule. Let's see, and on our way to doing that, we are going to collect the rest of the items that were laying around the bottle ship. So let's see, we got the main sector, which is about 61% complete, sector 1's 58% complete, sector 2 75, and sector 3 54. Oh, and the bioweapons research center is only 33%. Uh, let's see, our status. We got every single item now. Um, you may have seen, I didn't mention it uh, before our outro in the last episode, but we have unlocked the power bomb. The final power up in the game, and arguably the most powerful. It's going to be used very frequently during this post game. Characters, yeah. Um, you see all the characters with red slashes through them, they're all dead. Except for, you know, well, Madeline Bergman, she's alive, Anthony's alive, and there is no slash around KG because nobody found his body. That's because the deleter, James, kicked him into the lava. That's why nobody found his body. Anyway, we got this grate right here. We're going to blow it up with a bomb, and we're going to get another missile tank expansion. What else do we have left? Yes, we're going... All the way up here, yet yeah, that's where we need to get to. Oh, almost. Oh, I. Yeah, never mind. I was gonna use the uh, the shine spark to blast through this hallway, but I guess it's not really necessary. It's just there for fun. And this screw attack is going to. Speed up the process of getting to where we need to go because we can just slice straight through any enemy that gets in our way. Any items in here? Nope, but there are some in the next room. Huh. Oh, I guess it's, um. Oh, yeah, we weren't able to get it before, but we can get it now back up. We're going to need to get some room to build up our speed booster because we're going to need the shine spark to get this right up here. Which one's next? Right up in the corner of that next room up there. Yes, this is just going to be a big fetch quest on our way to you know, our objective. Oh, yes. I think we all remember this one. This was way early in the beginning of the game. I guess we could have gotten it much earlier, but that would have required unnecessary backtracking. This way, we're doing it all on our way. So now that we have the wave beam, we can shoot through the glass. Hit that with a charge shot. And it opens up this door right here. And there's another Excel charge. Is that the last one? I think it's the last one. Five of them. Yep, that's the last one. I'm pretty sure there are only five. And I guess we could save right now. Yeah, it'll probably be a good idea because we're about to encounter one of the toughest enemies in the game. Anything in here? Nope. And our objective is right up there where Adam was sitting. But we can't get there quite yet. It's not going to make it that easy on us. We're going to have to... Uh, we're going to have to uh, go the scenic route. We're going to have to go all the way around the bottle ship in order to get to that one point up there. Why? Because this elevator 
is closed. Anyway, we have right here a power bomb blast shield. Now, behind it is an enemy. You may recognize them from the enemies, those big giant bugs that we were fighting through. You know, the ones that we were shooting at in first person mode when we were trying to get a clear shot at MB. It's the Desprockian, and it will kick your ass if you don't know what you're doing. Um, well, let's see. One of the main points of advice I could get is do not jump. Any attempt to jump will be met by being grabbed straight out from midair and slammed into the ground. And these things will slice through your health like butter. I mean, even if you have every energy tank in the game, they will dispatch you very quickly. Um, you have to use just mash the sense move like crazy that's the best advice i can give you actually that's the second best advice i can give you the single best advice i can give you and it's kind of hard to pull off what we're going to do is go into morph ball mode charge up and release it and as soon as the explosion clears we get into first person mode and lock onto it and hit it with a super missile and quickly hit it with another super missile and that didn't work out the way we planned hit it with another super missile and hit it with one more super missile no that didn't work one more super missile bam all right now if you're quick enough if you're quick enough you can hit it over and over and over again it takes three super missiles and then if you if you're quick enough it won't even be able to move at all but we got through him we're going to have to fight several others during the post game so let's go through this door Here we are in the bottle ship residential area. I guess where all the people who worked on the bottle ship lived. I wonder if there were families in here. I mean, you know, sometimes in the military, you know, when you go to uh, certain bases uh, far away from home, you get to take your family with you. It's not always the case, but, you know, for the most part, you know, that's how they work. You know, unless it's, you know, a very dangerous, like, a combat zone or something. I mean... You know, like, Marines can take their families to Japan because there's a military base there. But they can't, like, for example, take them to Iraq. Or Iraq, however you want to pronounce it. There's an item up there, so we're going to have to run in a tight circle all the way around here. Just go ahead and hold either way on the D-pad. It circles around by itself. And hold on, she's not charging. Let's move a little further away from it. There we go. And as soon as she charges up... Shine spark straight up in the air and then quickly do space jumps to uh, okay well that didn't work out the way we planned I didn't time it as well as I should have so let's try this again shine spark up and space jump oh come on come on come on oh no come you're kidding me come on ah why is it not working? Let's try this again. Up. There we go. I thought I was going to have to edit this out. There's an energy part. And I believe that makes nine. Is that nine? Ah, come on. Open up my status. I want to see my status. Yeah, that's nine. Okay, so... Three more and we can... Get a new energy tank. And which way am I going? Ah, uh, is it this way? Nope, it's this way. Yeah, circling around like that since both sides look very similar. It can be easy to get thrown off and end up going back the way you came. Okay, we got little hanging creatures here. Yeah, they're nothing. Oh, this uh, this area actually looks really nice, kind of like a a space age mansion of sorts. I you know I can picture people living here. Wow, they didn't do a very good job of hiding that load time. Oh, well, it's a little frozen here. Where are we? Oh, hey, we're in a... We're really close to Sector Zero. 
Didn't that place get destroyed? Oh, here we go. Another power bomb blast shield. Oh, here we go again. Let's charge up. Get out of morph ball mode as fast as we can. Aim in and start up with the super missiles. Oh, come on. There we go. One, two, and three. Oh, oh that didn't work. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. There we go. Yeah, you see that one hit, and look at how much energy got taken away from me. It's good to recharge after every battle with those guys, because like I said before, one super missile takes up five normal missiles. And which way are we going here? Let's see, which way do we want to go? This way? Is this way good? Uh, this is where the nightmare was. Mmm. Huh. Can we go to Sector Zero? Is there anything in there for us? Let's see. Uh, I think the way to Sector Zero just may be blocked. Let's find out. Uh, doesn't look like there's uh, anything particularly interesting around here. Let's get past the save point for right now. We'll just waste valuable seconds sticking around in here. Yep, dead end. Looks like nothing. Yeah, that's right. That's where the airlock uh, started, like, breaking apart. Oh. Okay, so that was kind of a waste of time. Let's go back up the elevator. So let's give ourselves a hand for going the wrong way again. And speaking of hands, my son was watching this weird show with hand puppets. It's called Ubi. I think it's on Nick Jr. And all they are is like they they're like hands and they like they talk. And it's it's just weird. They got like I guess the people who are doing the hand puppet thing, they have like these little rings on their hands with eyeballs to make it look like the characters have faces. And they talk funny. Like, they, they don't speak like you and me would. They don't, like, for example, like, if I were to say, you and I are friends, they don't say that. They're like, Ubi, you, friend. And I don't like it. I really don't like my kids watching a show where they teach you improper English. Um, it was kind of funny when I walked in on the show and they're sitting there rocking out to a radio playing Old McDonald Had a Farm. I could rock out to Old McDonald, you know, if it was covered by, I don't know, Death Clock. That would be kind of cool. <clears throat> I'm choking on my own words there. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. Could you imagine? Could you imagine Old McDonald had a farm covered by Death Clock? That would be insane. Do you have anything up there? Eh, oh, get. Well, I, I don't like you anyway. You stink. Let's see, is there anything? I don't think there's anything important up here. I'm just gonna kill this guy. Once again, I'm probably just wasting time. At least I managed to jump out that grapple beam a lot easier than before. Let's see what is up here. Um, hmm. It, we just, this is the way we came from, isn't it? Is this the way we just came from? Am I wasting more time? I am wasting more time. <laughs> Whatever. Go this way. I'm going to see what's over here. More stuff. Yeah, I already went here before. Okay. I should probably just pay attention to the map and look for the glowing areas. Let's 
to get through here. I'm just going to ignore you. Just ignore these guys. Ignore these guys too. Just blast straight through them. There we go. Well, that didn't look like it felt very good. What else do we got in here? We got anything good in here? Nope. Hey! Anything good in here? Nope. Well, I could have just shined spark straight up, but that didn't work out for me. That's as good a way to do it as any. There we go. That's where we're going. We're heading back to Sector 2. So we can get back to Sector 1. But we'll probably make a detour in Sector 3 before then. Let's see. Uh, there's items up there that we could grab. And we can grab that down there. Hmm. See, I think what I'm going to do is go here and grab that then I'm gonna go up there and grab those things and go all the way around I'm gonna grab those then I'm gonna head back to the main sector so which way do I want to go I want to go this way get out of my way this is the way I want to go that's right okay And we're about to face off against another Disbrocky, and maybe this time I can dispatch him quickly, like the way I was describing earlier. Eh, that's a good distance away from him. You know, let, let's face in on the door first, just so we can be sure. Power bomb. Get out of morph ball mode. Go into first person mode. And where are you? There we go. Uh, where? Yeah. Super missile. And another super missile. And another super missile. And he's done, and that's how you do it. Refill? No, I, I said refill, don't go into morph ball mode. And we get a red thing. It's another energy part. You should know what the red things are by now. And... Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go back this way. And grab that. I'm gonna. Mm, hmm. Last time I went this way, that door didn't open up for me, did it? How am I going to go about this? Oh well. Well, got a navigation booth, and I guess if I can't get through that door after getting that one, I'll just cut over to where we need to be. Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. You know what? I really ought to start considering um, just editing out all of the uh, back and forth running that I've been doing. I mean, I pretty much showed, you know, every I showed my ass getting kicked a few times. Right, get. You know what? Let's see how this works on you guys. Boom. That's what I thought. Yeah, I think I'm probably going to think about just editing it out, e editing out all the uh, silly backtracking. This will probably be the last episode where you see me just running back and forth, you know, between places we've already seen before, just so I can get to that item there and that item there and all these little glowing spots. All right, so where are we going? Okay, we still got 78% of Sector 2 left to do. So we're going to get that dot right there and try to go through that door in order to go up through this area right here and get that blue dot. And then those three blue dots and all around, remember this area, that's the elevator, all the way back down to get that blue dot and to the main sector so we could move on. But that's going to have to wait until next time. And until next time, thank you for watching That LP Show. Have a one that is good.